kind of got to a point now where my life is completely different. You know, it doesn't, there's not a day that goes past where I don't think about how things used to be five months ago or six months ago or a year ago. But I guess it's a form of acceptance after a while that things naturally do change. In spring 2013, my nan got diagnosed with cervical cancer. A cancer which at first was treatable with a course of intensive chemo and radiotherapy. From a scan after the intensive therapy, my nan's tumour has reduced by 80%. Following this treatment, in the early part of summer, she then went on to have brachytherapy and another scan. This scan answered our hopes and at that point the cancer had completely gone. Nan began to develop a nasty cough, which was repeatedly dismissed for three months as being a nasty chest infection. It wasn't until the early part of 2014 that she was sent to have an MRI scan, which showed that it was not a chest infection that she had, it was lung cancer. With this news, Nan became increasingly more ill. However, in May, she had a spell where she perked up. She made the first trip out of the house in a long time and came to see my final photography degree show in St Ives and also to a family meal to celebrate my auntie and cousin's birthdays. She ended up going into hospice, um, and she's in hospice for about five weeks, I believe it was, maybe a little bit less, I've just tried to back it out of my head. Um, but at that time, they just completely managed to control those symptoms, and for the first time in months, like, we felt just safe, you know, and we knew that she was going to be looked after, and she just looked kind of happy, I would finish work and I could just go and have a normal conversation with her and not being worried about, you know, now how are you feeling, do you need any water, do you need to do this, do you, do you need me to take you somewhere or, you know, we could just sit and I could just chat to her like I always have been able to and that, there was one afternoon that I remember and I went and bought her some sunflowers and took them and put them in there and the lady, one of the nurses, came out and she just arranged all the flowers for her and put them in the vase and it just made them my nan so happy and I can still remember that image in my head of her just sat there smiling with these sunflowers. A poignant conversation for me that I had with my nan was about a dress that I had found in her wardrobe while sorting through her belongings. A 70s original, red silk flowing past the ankle. She told me that she would like me to have it. I tried it on and it fitted perfectly. The care my nan received inspires me every day within my work at Cornwall Hospice Care. 